you want to watch what I have in store for you next, stick around. Yeah, so this is the project today. I'm going to take these light lenses on the fluorescent light fixtures and pop them back up there. Now, you might think it's pretty easy to do that, but you see that lip right there? It's continuous lip along the edge on both sides of the light. You see over here, you see that little lip, see? And it kind of, it, it kind of goes up just a little bit and that that's going to hold this but most light fixture covers are slightly different than this so the only the only four points on this particular type of light lens is going to hit over that lip is this little thing right here so you got one there two down at the bottom two up at the top see other other lenses if you've seen other lenses you might usually see this kind here and this has a continuous rail that goes all the way down the edge. And then you lift and put on one side, kind of push it over, lift this side and make sure it pops in. And there were some like that at this house, but then there were these other types of lenses. And I took those down because there was all kinds of bugs in there and it gave me the opportunity to clean these all out. Plus, they were just getting ready to paint, so I thought I'll just do the painters a favor, leave them down, they can mask off around this. Because the lip is so, see how wide this is? There's no way they could have masked up tight and not got any on the cover as well as get the paint all the way nice and tight all the way around the light fixture. That's, that's another pet peeve of mine. If you're gonna do some, some painting, do it right. Take the covers that down and cut in nice and tight around your light fixtures. You don't have to have these in the way. Then you can wipe these down anyways, right? So I haven't, I haven't tried to put these back up and I'm pretty sure these were, were in here from before because they're almost the same size as those other covers. So I'm gonna try and make an attempt. And I, I haven't tried to put this up yet. You know, I thought, well, hey, nothing doing. I'll just let you see what I see. Okay, so la, so la. Oh, will be, will be. All right, who sings that? Yeah, remember the Doris Day show? <laughs> I only watched it a few times. Oh, I might have to get a taller ladder because see, I can't really see what I'm doing. Oh, mercy. It's up here. It's up here, up here kind of high. I think I can just slide this where it needs to go and feel that it's on there. And then as I push, I'm going to push all the excess over on this side and reach my hand around there where that clip is and kind of pull out on it a little bit. Ooh. There. I got the I got the back but oh, I don't know if I can reach that off of this ladder. Damn it, damn it. I think I can hold it up there without it falling down. There's one clip over here. I gotta move this would not normally do that. I would try to have it centered my ladder a little bit easier so I don't have to let go of it. The last thing I want is for this to fall down and break. I haven't even seen these at the store like Home Depot or Lowe's or Ace or you know someplace like that. I want to feel on that with my fingers and, and it feels like it's it's nice. See you got a little bit of a slop both directions, but once you get it clipped on there, you kind of get it. And I can see where, you know, even though I had these down, I tried to put them in an area where the painters wouldn't get to them, but obviously they found it all right. I 
thought I had most of that stuff off. I can, I can look at that. See how, see how nice and clean that looks? Because I took it down and I wiped it all out. Even if you're not painting, let's, let's do this one down here. Even if you're not painting, I would suggest doing this maybe once a year. Whenever you see a whole lot of bugs up in there, buggy bug bugs. It just looks nice and clean and you don't see all those bugs and whatever else gets up in there. See, I'm kind of not at the right position here with my ladder. It's, it's plenty flexible. See, I gotta let my fingers do the seam for me. I'm just concentrating on getting this lip over first. See how it's just like that. I could probably let go of it. Ta -da. it. It's just caught on that one little lip here and one up there. And now make sure it clips down there and it did. Okay. And it, and it feels fine. I'm gonna hold my breath. Until I get over here, it's just that one little clip right where my right where my hand is. And sometimes you just have to kind of take the, the plastic and kind of grab it and kind of tweak it just a hair to get that clip over. Okay. Just a little, see? I feel on there. It looks good. Here's some more paint. My word. You know, even if they would have left these up here, can you see that had they have masked this off, there's no way they could get a nice clean spray or paint up underneath there. And before I call this good, it, it feels a little sloppy, but but uh, it's it's clipped in. I'm gonna just double check down over here. Last thing you want is to make an assumption. And then find out later that your, your light lens fell down. You claimed it was fine before, but you just didn't have it clipped on one side. And the washer and dryer were vibrating and it vibrated this thing off somehow. Okay. It's good. Voila. Now let's talk about this for a minute. I was, I was thinking about making a different, uh, uh, a different video, but I'm going to do this later, but it will definitely be another video. See, see this light, all four bulbs are working and it's bright white. It's called cool white bulbs. Those are the bulbs I like the best. Oh geez, look, it looks like I got to clean that a little bit more right along that edge. I'll have to get up there and, and clean it. I thought I had that all when it was down, but see, See the light bulbs, this is clear, cool white on this side, but on that side, it's kind of a pinkish bulb. That's called a warm white bulb. And I also noticed, and I don't know if you saw that before, you probably saw that there's one bulb in there that's burned out. So another, I'll make another video on taking the cover plates down, replacing the light bulbs, talking about why I would recommend replacing all the bulbs not just one we'll talk about that later and i also noticed that the uh that the light fixture itself was a little wobbly up there and in order to make sure that's tight there's a middle frame that has to be pulled out and i'll show you how to take that out and how to tighten up the screws and we'll we'll have to make a decision if we need to add any more screws on there or what i'll make a i'll make a separate video on that okay but that will be next time. Well, that's all I got for this time. But I'll be back with more videos. Uh, now I got to get back up there and clean that off. I guess I better get a, a damp rag and maybe uh, uh, my, my sponge that's got a little rough side on it and clean that up.